This video demonstrates how to configure a Rii Home Router as a wireless repeater for a third-party router. A wireless repeater can extend the coverage of your Wi-Fi network. If you have a primary router at home for internet access but experience network lag in some areas due to limited Wi-Fi coverage, you can purchase a Rii Home Router and configure it as a wireless repeater to extend the Wi-Fi coverage of your primary router. In this video, we use the RG M32 as an example to demonstrate how to configure the router as a wireless repeater, regardless of whether it is in factory default state or not. First, place the router about 2 meters away from the primary router and power it on. Ensure that the router's WAN port is not connected to an Ethernet cable. Connect your PC to the router through a wireless or wired connection. For a wireless connection, connect your PC to the Wi-Fi network broadcast by the router. If the router is in its factory default state, the default Wi-Fi name can be found on the router's label, usually starting with at WJS. If you have already configured the router, connect it to the configured SSID. For a wired connection, connect your PC to the router's LAN port using an Ethernet cable. Open your browser and enter 192.168.110.1 in the address bar to access the router's eWeb. If you are asked to enter a password, you can find the default password on the label at the bottom of the router. If the router you have just purchased the router is unconfigured, follow the steps to configure it as a wireless repeater. Click Configure. Click Wireless Repeater. The router will automatically search for nearby Wi-Fi signals. Select the Wi-Fi signal of the primary router. If the primary router's Wi-Fi network is secured with a password, enter the correct password. In the pop-up window, select whether to configure the Wi-Fi password as the router's management password. You will need this password to log into the router's eWeb, so make sure to store the password securely. To set the router's Wi-Fi name and password, Toggle on same as primary router Wi-Fi to use the same Wi-Fi name and password as the primary router. You can also toggle off same as primary router Wi-Fi and set a separate Wi-Fi name and password. Click skip for now to skip IoT Wi-Fi setup. If you want to configure separate Wi-Fi for IoT devices, click try now, configure parameters, and then click next. Set the correct country slash region code and time zone, and then click Next. Wait for the device configuration to be delivered, and then click Management URL to access the device's management interface. Check the network connection status. If the status is displayed in green, the router is configured as the wireless repeater and connected to the internet. If your Re Home router has been configured and connected to the internet, follow these steps for configuration. Choose More Work Mode. Click Wireless Repeater. Click Select to search for the Wi-Fi network of the primary router. In the dialog box that is displayed, select the Wi-Fi network of the primary router. If the primary router's Wi-Fi network is secured with a password, enter the correct password. Set the Wi-Fi name and password for the router. You can select New Wi-Fi to set a separate Wi-Fi name and password. You can also toggle on same as primary router Wi-Fi to use the same Wi-Fi name and password as the primary router. Click Save. Wait for the device configuration to be delivered, and then click Management URL to access the device's management interface. Check the network connection status. If the status is displayed in green, the router is configured as the wireless repeater and connected to the internet. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.